the foam is in and we're putting down the first six layers of rock now after he's got this leveled out we're going to bring in the first 10 lengths of the four inch perforated drain tile and spread that out equal distance lengthwise here and then start covering everything up the black lines that you see at the bottom of that styrofoam is a black tape and that just is the six inch mark to help him have some type of an idea how much material he's got in the bottom. So six inches, the first ten lengths of the four inch perforated drain tile and then over that is going to go three feet of rock. Alright now the first ten pieces of the four inch drain tile are in. We're covering it with rock. You can see them bundled up down there on the end. That's going to be the inlet side and the barrel is going to be used as the manifold is going to be placed over the top of all ten of those pipes. And all we're doing now is taking rock, making a lot of dust and covering our tile back in. There's going to be three and a half feet of gravel in the hole and then the last 10 pieces of the drain tile are going to go in. Everything that's being buried under this rock now is perforated and the air is going to come out of that and it's going to move up through this rock that we're putting in and that rock is going to be our heat sink. The vertical pipe in the bundle back there is a non-corrugated pipe and that is so that the air is down and into the rock before it starts to come up. Okay, day two is done and we got quite a bit completed today. All the styrofoam is in around the outside. We have begun to fill it. Uh, we had to stop. They did not have the bobcat available today to backfill around the outside of the styrofoam. Uh, they're going to bring it over in the morning and as they backfill around the outside of the styrofoam so that it is well supported, the rock that you see piled up in the middle will be spread out to all the edges around and it's going to come up to six inches from the top of the styrofoam. After that styrofoam or after that rock is full, to within six inches of the top. The last 10 sections of our pipe is going to go on and over that is going to go six inches of rock. After that is done, all of this is going to get covered up with two feet of soil. Uh, we have had some minor challenges along the way and uh, am not going to stack the last two feet of foam directly on top of this. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to put the soil on the top. I'm going to mark the corners and the outside edges of my styrofoam all the way around with the little flags. And after we get two feet of a level soil over the top of it, I'm going to rent a trencher and trench a hole just to the outside of this styrofoam two feet deep put that styrofoam down in it and then I'm done. Uh, too many little issues, too many little problems. I'm not going to get into it and try to explain it because I don't understand it all myself. Uh, minor setback uh, we can we can make do. Uh, here on the right you see a pipe sticking up. That is so that I can get water inside the greenhouse. It's going to be four feet deep so I'm well below our freeze point here. Uh, that pipe goes down inside of the heat sink and goes through the styrofoam and on the outside of that styrofoam there's a cap. So when we run the water line I'll get a little a little track hoe. I'll dig the water line. I'll dig down there and take a uh, Nomex is all I can think of. The, the, the water line that is freeze proof. I'm tired. The water line that is freeze proof that can uh, not freeze proof, but it will expand if it freezes. Um, we're going to run that and I'm going to run it inside of 
that PVC so that if there's ever any pulse in the water line, it doesn't get nicked in the rock and damage that line and cause a leak. When the last set of drain tiles go in to the heat sink, which is going to be the return to get the air back into the greenhouse, the capped end of those are going to be on the far side of where I'm at now, back by the intake PVC back here. And the hose hose. The uh, drain tile, the pipe, the return air is going to be on this side here near us. And there's going to be 10 of them and they're not going to be bunched together like this. They're going to come up at an even increment all the way across. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to be done with this part of the greenhouse build. The heat sink is going to be in. Uh, all of the drain tile is going to be in. We're not going to run any electrical or put the box fan or anything in until the greenhouse is built. And I think that this week we're going to get the greenhouse kit picked up and hopefully start putting it together and getting it into the ground this week. And we will do some videos on that too. Hopefully in the next three weeks this thing is going to be done. All the plastic is going to be on it. I'm going to have electrical ran into it to run the fan that's going to keep this thing going and we also need uh, electricity for the air supply motor I don't know what it's called it's going to insulate or inflate the two layers of plastic and uh, Anyway, we're going to have a video of that process so that you can see all of this come together and uh, see what it looks like when we're done. Thanks for watching. This has been pretty exciting for me. I hope that you guys are enjoying this as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed yet to these videos, please do so that you can see the next video as it is released. Yes, dog, I'm over here talking. I live here. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, and uh, have a good one.